Well, our sport is is um, inevitably always tied up with tradition and, and what's gone before. You know, you're part of a of a story, if you like, particularly you know, in whatever event you're in, and you're, you, you've. Any athlete has, has probably studied their event and looked at the great champions of the past. And, um, you know, even when you were young, you'd be looking at, oh, you know, um, I'm running this time now. And back in 1924, I could have won the Olympic gold medal. And, you know, and I, th I think, well, certainly if they're like me, um, you get very aware of, of the history of, 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 of what you're involved in. So when you get the chance to come and um, compete on on that stage and, and to win medals and to hold records etc um, you do feel a part of, of, of what's gone before and, and and that you're kind of continuing the story and people are going to follow you on obviously inevitably and for me when I brought the world mile record that was such an important part of my career that, that um, you know I had this growing up with from Roger Bannister and even before but the you know the four minute mile and everything that went with that and met a lot of the people who'd held the world mile record and you know some of them were real heroes and people I'd watched on television then you get to race against them and then eventually you get to join this this sort of exclusive club and um, it's something I'm still very proud of. Well our sport is is um, is about it, it, you know, it's very objective first second third how fast did you run how uh, high did you jump how far did you throw but um, underneath that, I think the thing that really grabs the people's attention is, is the direct conflict. You know, it's an individual sport, and it's that guy versus that guy, and it's you know who's going to win, who's going to come out on top. So all of that, you know, the times and everything else that you've done when you come and line up in an Olympic Games or a, or even in a even in a big meet in Europe, then you've got to um, you know look at your the man you're going to compete against in the face, and, and when you get these great matchups, Konovet um, being typical. Um, the whole world kind of, you know, ends up getting engrossed in the whole thing, and particularly when nobody ends up being very particularly dominant. And I was coming into that uh, four or five years behind them, and and kind of being uh, as a teenager, being kind of dropped in as a as a very close-up observer. And I learned a lot from you know what those two guys went through about rivalries and about coping with the media and attention and everything else that went with it, but. Um, and also they, they ended up, for me anyway, setting targets and goals, which I might not have set had I not had that sort of proximity to them. So um, I'm not sure athletics, certainly in the UK, will ever quite get that um, level of interest again. That's just the world we live in. You know, we have a more diverse viewing public and, you know, we used to have three channels in those days and, you know, it, it, was, all, it was on, you know, main two channels at the same time most of the time. So it's not quite ever going to get that sort of level of exposure. But I still think the public gravitate to that. They love to see, you know, that gladiatorial, gladiatorial sort of combat that the athletics can sometimes give you. Uh, I remember there was a couple of things. What, one was I remember when, when Michael Johnson actually ran um, the 200 metres in, in Atlanta. And I'd seen plenty of world records before. And he didn't break any particular barrier, but it was the Olympic Games, and at that time anyway, the time that he ran just seemed unbelievable. And um, that stuck with me for such a long time. I'm not sure anything... Um, it, it was one of my first games as a commentator, as sitting in the commentary box. and Because when you're an athlete, you know, things kind of pass you by a little bit. Um, you, you're still concentrating on your own event. And actually, it's quite hard to be impressed. You know, you're trying to break world records yourself. And if somebody walks in and says, oh, did you see, you know, Sergei Bubka just got another pole vault world record. You go, all right, really? You know, what, do you, what do you do this time? Um, and, of course, then you can finish it, and then you're sitting there in the commentary box, and you're looking at it through different eyes. And so I think Michael Johnson's 19.32 was something which, um, uh, at the time anyway, you know, certainly made me sit up. And I walked out of the stadium thinking, I'm glad I was there to see that. Little did I know, of course, that a few years later, Usain Bolt would make me feel the same way.